All right, y'all. I wish it wasn't going to do a video on this, but you know what? I, I was just like, mm, why not? Um, the 2021 Grammys. <laughs> not off such, not off to a hot start, to be honest. Um, I will say, do a peep. Good for you. I love Don't Start Now. It's a great song. I, good luck to you. Folklore, not a huge fan of it, although I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. So, I'm more rooting for Don't Start Now, but I wouldn't also be mad if... I'm kind of, uh, I will be honest, y'all can come from me or argue with the wall, give a flying flip. I'm not, I don't care for folklore, period. But I do like Exile. Actually, the first four tracks are really the only ones I like. But anyway... Congratulations, Taylor, on your nominations. I, I'm here for it. I do like you. As a matter of fact, I love you. Just not here for folklore. <laughs> anyway. Um, Rain On Me. I I'll be honest. I didn't really have high, super huge high hopes for my girl, Miss Gaga. Um, but I was actually kind of hoping Rain On Me would snag at least a record of the year nomination. And Best Pop Duo group. But it got Best Pop Duo group, which okay, that's fine. I was just kind of holding out for a record of the year nomination, but you know, it is what it is. Life goes on. And maybe a video of the year nomination, but hey, again, life goes on. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, Best Pop Solo Performance. That category is kind of cute, but in a way it's a mess. Because it's got a lot of it highlights of, it really does highlight 2020 pretty well. You know, Dua Lipa, Taylor Swift, Doja Cat, Billie Eilish, but Justin Bieber with a yummy. Now, I've heard like brief, you know, I've heard increments of the song. And I was just like, he's just repeating the title over and over and over again. Like, where the hell is uh, Lose You to Love Me? Where the hell is like Stupid Love or something like that? Anything better than that song? I mean, come on now. And I heard that he complained that his album or any of his nominations was not for the R&B category. It's just like, bitch, shut up. Just be glad you got a nomination. Or not, yeah, just be glad you get a nomination. You don't deserve one. From what I've heard of his album, it's not that good. You don't deserve a nomination, but just be thankful you got one. Or however many he got. Um, Best Pop Duo Group Performance, that's actually a pretty competitive category this year, it seems like. You know, I mean, Rain On Me and Exile, which are great songs, and a category with Dua Lipa in it, and, you know, and BTS. I might be missing one, but I'm not sure. I know I am, but I can't remember the, the category, one of the people in there off the top of my head. Uh, it might come to me after this video, but it's got a pretty huge competitive category this year, so we'll see what happens. Um, oh, Justin Bieber. Gosh. Yeah, really truthfully, I would say Dynamite or Rain on Me or uh, Exile would probably stand a chance on that one. Oh, gosh, let's see. Best Pop Vocal Album, that's also another competitive, very competitive category this year. You got Lady Gaga, uh, Taylor Swift, Dua Lipa Peep. I love, I love Dua Lipa, but I love saying Dua Lipa better. It's so much, it's iconic. Now, granted, I didn't listen to Future Nostalgia, but I have heard the main singles like Levitating and Break My Heart and Don't Start Now. And it, it seems like it's a banger of an album. I'm just, I don't know. I should probably listen to it. Should I? I probably should. Obviously, I love Chromatica. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of it, but now it's just, I, I cannot stop listening to Rain On Me and Stupid Love and Replay and 911 and Alice and all that stuff. Oh my gosh. Folklore, well, I've already gone on about folklore. But that seems like it's going to be a pretty competitive category. Um, country solo, I'm actually surprised Marin did not get in there with the bones. But she is not only for best country song, so I guess that kind of evens out a little bit. 
and I love seeing Miranda Lambert succeed, but can we also talk about how Drinking Alone by Carrie Underwood was ignored? Go on now. Oh. And how, and Lose You To Love Me, that was totally ripped off from either Song of the Year or Best Pop Solo Performance, you know, recognition. That's just also because I'm biased. I love the hell out of Selena Gomez. Um, another, Pedals for Armor by Haley Williams. Brilliant album. Genius album. Love it. Love everything about it. Cinnamon and Over Yet and Sudden Desire and Creepin'. Ooh, bangers. Yeah, uh, next one, I'm not a huge fan of him, but I was actually thoroughly surprised. I mean, I haven't heard anything from his latest album, but The Weeknd... He got knocked out. Nothing. I was just like, wow. It's the biggest song of the year. Where it's one of the biggest albums of 2020. And it didn't get anything? Anything? Like, damn. I, I truly was thoroughly surprised. I mean, I like a few of the weekend songs. But I'm just not like, ah! Fan, fanning over them. I was just like, wow. Nothing. This is weird. But of course, uh, the Grammys can get it right sometimes. They can be, they can nail it or they could surprise you. Like you think, oh yeah, that one's going to win. But then it's just like a song that you think, oh, you know, I could see that. Or you're just kinda like, what the hell? <laughs> like one that surprises me to this day. And mind you, Lady Gaga fan here was when she won Best Pop Solo Performance with Joanne. Just like over Ariana Grande with God as a woman? <laughs> really? <gasps> I I guess I love my Lady Gaga. She's my girl. I was just kind of thoroughly surprised about that one. But mm. oh, what else? Yeah, but truly, like The Weeknd and Drinking Alone, Lose You to Love Me, Haley Williams. But I am happy to see Mickey Guyton nominated for a Grammy. I love her song, What Are You Gonna Tell Her? I love that so much. Granted, it's not the song that was nominated. I was just like, this is, this is, kudos, girlfriend, kudos to you. I am all for it. I hope you get this. Or Miranda Lambert. I would, either one of you two, I would be sorely ecstatic for. I mean, ooh. I love it, love, I love it, love it, love it. And I'm also actually kind of surprised going back to Mary Morris that she didn't get nominated for at least Song of the Year. She's like, but hey, you know, she at least got something. She at least got somewhere, so. And I know a lot of people are talking about Blackpink and all the hype of them getting nominated for Best New Artist. Now, I'll be quite truthful with you. I hate K-pop. I cannot stand it. But I loved their song with Selena Gomez and the song with Lady Gaga. So that'll tell you something. That'll tell you how much I can tolerate K-pop. I don't. I was just like, you know, they have had a pretty decent year for themselves. Just like, wow. They got shunned. They got just like, nope, we don't want that. But this year's the 2021 Grammy Awards, they're shaping up to be kind of weird. But then again, the Grammys are known for their out-of-this-world moments. You're kind of thinking, what the hell? Whatever. 